in this video I am testing the uh, newly attached uh, PL Touch uh, probe to the KFB 2.0 board. Uh, the wiring is all described uh, in the instructable.com and this is kind of a video of how I'm testing the result. So right now what we're looking at is the KFB board unpowered, uh, not connected to the USB yet uh, with the BL Touch attached. Um, I'll show you the behavior when I actually hook up the USB and there's power going through, um, the BL Touch will actually do this at startup. So I'm guessing that's some sort of initialization and it remains in that state. And now uh, there's an orange and a, a purple type of light in the actual uh, BL Touch and it seems to be remaining, it remains in that state. So at this point, I'm going to turn the power on so I can also run some motors for the test. So now I have my uh, PSU powered on. So now there's 12 volts going through the board. Um, at this point, um, um, we can look at Pronerface. Pronerface is uh, used to send G codes to the um, KFB board. And in this case, uh, in the instructions, I've shown how to turn on pins debugging. So we can actually look at what the pins look like. So first we will uh, connect to this board. And it does its normal connection stuff. At this point, I can send it the uh, command M43, which will give us um, all the pin information currently on the board and what I'm interested in right now is the uh, port 19 uh, which should have, should have been redirected to servo 0 pin which is what looks correct. Okay so at this point um, we can actually start homing and see what happens. Uh, so I have the KB board, I have the BL touch and I actually have motors hooked up to it. Uh, so what I'm going to send, first what I'll do is I'm going to send it the command 1 M119 and what this should show me is the current state of all the end stops. Uh, so if the initial state of this for the Z min would be triggered, <clears throat> then that would mean that you would have to go back into the software and uh, set the reverse uh, to true uh, or inverse to true for the Z min uh, so that it's set properly when it starts up. Um, at this point, we can do a G28Z. Uh, and I can do that because the Z safe homing is turned off for this test, so I'm going to send it G28Z. Uh, we should be starting to see some movement. All right, so the motors are resetting. So now uh, the pin jumped out of the Z probe and the Z axis is running. And so I'm going to push the pin and it measured it once. And I'm going to push it again and it measures it twice. So this is like the, the double touch for the Z probe. So this shows me that at this point, um, the homing worked properly. Uh, again, for more information, this video actually belongs to the Instructable uh, and I'll have the link in the description below.